No questions about the movie. <laughs> Why are we in the bar? We're doing a series of scenes that take place in this in this bar, which is called Plus. I think it's a great name for a bar. Do you think it's good? I don't, I don't like it. I think it's a giant negative. We have to check. It should be called negative. I'll just say it. I slept with someone. If you keep cow, talking, but, I'm going to get I, out of the car. I think the fact that oh, I did okay. it. Just, oh, my God, cow! Hi. There's lots of beautiful women in this bar, but I can't take my eyes off of you. It's time to go home. Should uh, I pull the car around? Have you been drinking? I'll drive. Ladies, man, guy, any tips of the trade? Let's talk about how many women you've been with. Sexually? No, I mean breakdance fighting. I'm sort of down on my luck. I have, uh, I have found out a, a, a piece of bad news regarding my wife. I'm trying to think about what I want. Why don't you say it at the same time? I want a divorce. I'm brulee. We share your glances. <laughs> we we, we, we share sort of furtive looks. Long and glances. And, and, like. we be, and we become one. You're sitting there with a Supercuts haircut, you're getting drunk on watered-down vodka cranberries like a 14-year-old girl, and you're wearing a 44 when you should be wearing a 42 regular. Honestly, I don't know if I should help you or I should euthanize you. If you were to see a puppy drowning and you were in a rowboat, you'd have to, you'd have, I mean, you'd be obligated to, to pull him in, right? And we have not shot that scene <laughs> yet where That's... Jacob's in the rowboat and I'm, and I'm taking my last breath. You got a kind face. You got a good head of hair. You seem like a nice guy. I want to help you. I'm going to help you rediscover your manhood. You have any idea, like, when you lost it? Strong case could be made for 1984. I would say that Cal is, uh, you know, very ha handsome. Mm-hmm. That's dapper. true. She char char is it charming? Charming. 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 Charming's the word. Credit card. Where are your wallets? Did you sleep in there? Jeez, God! Yeah, probably. You would? I would describe Jacob as, as a, a hot-blooded Lothario oh. with a heart of gold. Hey, thanks. You know, he exudes a, a charm and a confidence that my character is completely lacking. What? What? He was doing something behind my back. Could tell. You gotta take control of your manhood, pal. Can you put on some clothes, please? Oh, I'm sorry, is this bothering you? Beautiful. Actually, this the movie is chock full of fantastic actors. Steve is always improvising on set. Pretty crazy. And he's really worked with me on my like blooper reel laughing at him. <laughs> he's been very He's really helped coach me, so he's been very vocal about how I have no timing. But that was perfectly timed. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. right after the somebody dropped the glass and Thanks. then you said timing. He's Loved been helping. It. Wow! Wow. He's so serious. <laughs> I met a girl, and she is a game changer. She's your soulmate, right? Go get her back. Wow, how old are you? I'm in love with her. I don't know what to do. Definitely don't be yourself. You did not just say that. I don't know when you and I stopped being us. You know, when I told you that I had to work late, I really went to see the new Twilight movie by myself. And it was so bad. I should have fought for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been instructed that these are our final thoughts, yeah. at the end of which we can walk out of frame. It has been an honor so far, and I'm sure it will continue. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Jesus, God. Oh, boy. Wow. Do you find me attractive? You did not just say that. When you find the one, you never give up. I'm in love with her. I like you. But I'm in love with him. <laughs> It's a love story that involves essentially um, three different generations. 
At the very beginning of the movie, uh, his marriage is about to erupt. One, two, three. I want a divorce. Brule. They've been married for a very long time, and she's had an affair. I slept with someone. David Lindhagen. From work. Hey, with stop. The, the last person in the world that I'd want to hurt is if you, If you keep cow, talking, but, I'm going to get out of the car. I think the fact that oh, I did. Okay. Oh, my God! And at that point, he needs to reevaluate what he's going to do. He then meets a younger guy who's a real player. Hi, can I buy you a drink? Uh-huh. Let's get out of here. Want to get out of here? Yeah. What are you doing later? <laughs> I don't know. I do. He sees Hal in this bad state and thinks that he can impart some kind of twisted wisdom on him. I'm going to help you rediscover your manhood. Do you have any idea when you lost it? Strong case could be made for 1984. Jacob takes him on sort of an odyssey of a makeover. What happened to your feet? These are my 407s. Oh, they're 407s. Can I see them? Yeah. Right. Whoa, come on! What are you, in a fraternity? Are you insane? Are you Steve Jobs? No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you got no right to wear New Balance sneakers ever. Come on. You're sitting there with a Supercuts haircut, and you're wearing a 44, and you should be wearing a 42 regular. Credit card. Where are your wallets? I think when he finds Cal, it's like an opportunity for him to sort of like pass, pass the baton. What do you want to do with me? I want to show you off to my ex-wife make her really jealous. <laughs> oh, man. Jacob, he's in like a transition place in his life. He's a bit over it, and it's lost its luster. There's lots of beautiful women in this bar, but I can't take my eyes off of you. It's time to go home. Oh, it's forward of you, but okay. Yeah. Should uh, I pull the car around? Have you been drinking? I'll drive. I play the love interest of Jacob. Hot guy from the bar who hit on you is here. Liz, I'm studying. You should be studying the gentle curve of this guy. What is wrong with you? She's kind of at a crossroads in her life where she's trying to figure out whether to stay with this safe guy or go a little wild. I need some time to figure out how I feel about us long term. Huh. Wow. I'm just next level. Is this serious? Yes. Is this serious? I met a girl and she is a game changer. I am here to bang the hot guy that hit on me at the bar. Are people still saying bang? Oh, I do. We are going to bang. Mm -hmm. They have chemistry that's kind of unavoidable. Will you ask me something personal about myself? Okay, fine. I'll do it. And then we bang. Yes! I'm in love with her. I don't know what to do. Definitely don't be yourself. Ends up realizing that he's learned more than he's taught. What's interesting about it is the crossover between the generations. Your son is in desperate need of romantic inspiration right now. Robbie Weaver, he's got a huge crush on his babysitter. I love you so, Jeez, so Robbie. much. I love you so much, please. <sighs> Robbie is in love with me, and um, he's, he's seeing his dad kind of lose the battle for his mom. In the end, she winds up back with my dad. He's not going to give up on my mom, just like I'm not going to stop sending Jessica text messages that make her feel uncomfortable. I'm a pretty unlikable guy, so I don't tend to get along with people well when I work with them. I lucked out with these actors, and they cut me a lot of slack. <laughs> I can't really say enough great things about Steve Carell. I just love him. I mean, it was already enough with Steve and Ryan. I, once Julianne came on, I was just like, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kevin Bacon walks in. <laughs> this is not a bad day at the office. Is this a bad time? <laughs> and Steve's great with everybody. He kind of acclimates to your sense of timing. Beautiful. I'm getting sick of that. We did a scene the other day where I had to be uh, naked in front of Steve. He was like looking at my schwanz. He was so mad that he had to keep avoiding it that he finally just... He would just talk right to it and then start saying all of his lines. Would you put on some clothes, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this bothering you? No, it's not. It's not bothering you. We got a bigger problem. You know, so many movies are about how do I meet this person and fall in love with them and get married, and this one sort of starts a time when they get separated. She's your soulmate, right? Go get her back. Wow, how old are you? It's not just a comedy, it has reality to I don't know when you and I stopped being us. You know, when I told you that I had to work late, I really went to see the new Twilight movie by myself. And it was so bad. If love doesn't conquer all, it conquers most things. I should have fought for you. It's about love and how crazy and stupid it can be. Love sucks. <laughs>